um, that the level eights, how many Bs do they need? Four. four. How many A's? Four. four and four. So that means we need to have a total of eight things. Uh, so in this case, uh, we only counted two A's, the mount and the full turn, and then she had six B's, so she still had her eight elements. She's got the front handspring, the flick, <coughs> flick flack, and then the loud step out, even though it's a C gets B credit. Switch like leap, same thing, C getting B credit, and then her two B's for her round off full. So she has um, all her requirements in terms of special requirements. We have a 10 of start value. Everybody have that? Mm -hmm. um, we'll go over some of the um, compositional things and then we're gonna go back and look at some of the execution uh, um, along with uh, what we're seeing on the film. So uh, what, the, what in terms of those compositional things that Marion went over, uh, what was the largest deduction you had? Two tenths for no dance series. Everybody catch that. Mm -hmm. um, then her up to the level in dance, we had 0.15. Overall footwork, we had 0 0.05. Her up to the level acro and her dismount were fine, so no deduction there. Um, I think what we noticed was she was pretty, she was booking it. She was aggressive and kept her rhythm, you know, good movement and rhythm and the routine. So it kept it interesting. Um, we did have a total of 5.55 to 0.65 in execution. And we'll go over looking at some of those. And our score range was 895 to 905. So let's take a look. The first thing that we had, I'm gonna just try to do this this way, um, is the front handspring. We had, some people had a 05 for that. And then we had some forward choreography here. How much, did anybody take a concentration pause here? This one, some had zero, some had one. We had a little bit of uh, dissension on our, our committee even on that. Where's my thing? Okay, I gotta stop this. Um, so her flip flip layout step out, we had um, one to one five on the layout for the amplitude and the balance. And after she did that, she did some little backward choreography. Her switch leg leap, we had 05 to one for leg and back foot form. Then she does her little side choreography. And then she's gonna do her full turn. We did take a 10th off for the little balance check at the end. <clears throat> And then her full twist, one for amplitude and one for a little hop on the landing, if you could see that. So uh, right there, hovering the nine score. I um, thought that was a pretty good little routine. Yes, yeah, sir. Um, just, just to share with you before we start number two, on beam, as, as this athlete points out, counting those A's is very important. So for you as a judge to know the A mounts is very important. And that's another thing on the Naj website, is that one page that somebody's done a little shrinky dink. So you have a really quick reference, is that one of my A-mounts? That they put all the A-mounts on one page, you can print it at home as a PDF. And that's another great thing to have right at your fingertips when you're counting, thinking, oh no, I don't have four A's, oh no, I don't have four A's. But that's just a quick reference. And, and you can just go to the tools on the, Naj, the National Naj website. And, and print that, that's a great little thing. I come back from a break and I remind myself of those to try to not miss one. Okay, 